Today I will be showing you how to make a light tackle wind on meter, suitable for up to 10 kg line class. <laughs> we will be needing 150 pound mono, 80 pound dacron, some scissors as always, um, wax dental floss, and we a 200 pound swivel. Some threading needles, a crimp, and some crimping pliers. First step is to make a hoop through our dacron. We will need about a, a arm's length of dacron. Let me just cut it. Then you'll be getting your needle. About 10 to 15 centimeters down the dacron, we will be starting our hoop. So you put the needle through the dacron and get this and put it through the hoop, like so, like that. And then you will just pull, pull the dacron through through the hoop like that so it comes to the hole. Okay. You will need about two centimeters of a hoop. We will be getting our needle and putting it through the little tag like that and then we'll be getting the big tag and putting it through and then we'll just simply again go um, drag it across like that. And we'll do this around about four to three times. And then now we'll put it through the big tag. We will be um, repeating this, this about four to three times and then you get the little one tag and then you put it through and then you just pull again like that and then you pull that one back and then it starts to look like that and then again we will put it through the little one the little tag like that and then we'll be threading it through again that and then we'll be pulling it across and then now we did that about three or four times we will be going down the big one not through it this time this step is a bit tricky but five centimeters down the dacron we will be poking out like that. So we have it like that. And then we will get the little one and poke it through the hoop. Sorry, I'll do that again. Put it through the hoop. And then we will be holding it really close to where we did that spin thing. And we'll pull it through. And we just push it up a bit and then we pull that all the way through and then we just go like that so the little short line disappears and now that's your hoop done our second step is to thread the mono up our dacron and how we will be doing that is by getting our hollow needle threading it up our dacron like that and if you come out like I have, you just pull back through and keep pushing. You will always be pushing the dacron by the top of your needle, like so, like this, and then we'll keep going, and then 
if you get to the end, you don't want to cut it because we have to put the mono through the needle because it's hollow. We put it through and we put the mono until it touches this top and it can't go any further. And then we will be have to pushing it by the top and holding our mono at the same time because we don't want to lose our mono and then we'll, we'll just have to redo that process again. And then we keep pulling it like this, like that. Hold the mono, keep pushing it. And we'll, don't forget if it if you, you just push the mono in as the needle goes along, push the mono in like that. Keep going like that. Like that. And then you keep doing that. Remember to hold your mono, and you will you will know when to stop because you will hit the the little tiny tip that we've put through there. So that's when we stop, and we got like that. And then once we get that, we poke our needle out like that. We pull our needle out. Remember, hold still holding the mono. And pulling it out like that, and pull the needle, up. and then you push it up. So you push a little bit up, so it can cover your mono at the top, and then when it's you just got that and it's done. Now that we've just finished making our hoop and threading our mono through the dacron, we have to address where the mono comes out of the dacron. We will have to do it about three centimeters above where the mono comes out and three centimeters under where the mono comes out. To do that, we have to get one meter of wax dental floss. And then we have to double it, like so, like this. And then we have to, we're going to do a series of um, half hitches. So we will start three centimeters and then we just put it through and pull it out. And then we'll keep doing that until we get down there. So we just bring it back down to where we want it. Do it now. And then we keep doing our half like that. Just pull it through. We have to do that until we've fin finished doing three centimeters above and under. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you do your half hit hitches the same way, it will start to create a spiral pattern down your leader. Now that we've finished 
um, doing three centimeters above the entrance and three centimeters below the entrance. We have to finish off with something that is called our um, finishing knot. And to be that, it's sort of like a half hitch, but we instead of going through once, we go around about um, through four or five times. So like this. One, two, oh sorry, one, two, two, three, four, we, we push it down. We can push it down to where we finished our hitch, half hitch, and then we pull the tags towards our um, dacron, and we wrap this around the opposite way. Sorry, the other way. A couple of times. And then now, if you've done it about five or four times, you pull the little tags like that, and that's your finishing knot. And then after you've done a finishing knot, you have to cut the excess off, and then it feels kind of full. Cool. Because this is a light tackle leader wine on, we like to have it about 10 foot, which is about two of me. So one, two, and then you cut it off. And then we now are going to attach a 200 pound swivel. And then first we put our crimp on, and then we put our swivel like that. We would like to have a small um, hook, hoop, like that. Oh sorry, like that. And then we're going to crimp it. And then and then there you got your light tackle leader wine on.